Hello and welcome to yet another video and today's video is a little bit different not only that we're in an emergency exit staircase but it's also an unboxing so yeah <laughs> why this location I don't know but let's get started actually the 56mm uh, from Viltrox lens. It has been on my list for a while. I hope you can hear me well from the echo, but yeah. This is for the Fuji system simply because I do shoot Fuji as well. Uh, not always professional, but yeah. it's. An, I don't always shoot it professional enough to always invest in the best lenses from Fuji, but it's kind of like, this is my professional version from Canon, it's the 85 1.2, so I already have that, so I don't see myself investing in the 56 1.2 from Fuji anyway, and it's not weather sealed. If it was weather sealed, then I would actually have purchased it, but this one from the review, it's also pretty good, and I decided to get it anyway, because it's only 250 euros plus tax and shipping, at least all the way to Northern Europe, so yeah, it was a bargain. Um, anyway. Here's the box that you get. Mm -hmm. This is the accessory. Oh, it's filter. Okay, I didn't know that you get filters with it, but you get a free filter apparently. And then this is a coupon code. Uh, you get. 150 yuan off of the next purchase. Okay, that's pretty cool. I hope no one is actually using the elevator or the stairs right now. But yeah. So this is the box, it's actually very small. Um, but it's actually got some weight to it. It's actually... Okay, you get your typical Viltrox seal. If it's unsealed, it leaves a stain or residue, and then you'll know if the box has been open or not. So, yeah. Oh. Okay. It's all very Viltrox packaging like. Anyway warranty and use their manual, which I don't need, I think. Lens pouch, which is nice to have, but I don't need. I love these gels, so I'll keep. It's good for your camera bags or any compartment that you want to prevent moisture, pretty much. And <laughs> yeah. Pretty nicely packaged. This is the lens. It's actually really nicely built. I think you heard a lot of people mention it a lot of times, but I really don't like the clickless aperture they have here because it might be nice for a video, but on the Fuji it still shows the uh, jarring effect. Um, and also for photography it's not really nice because you always have to look down at it or just look at the monitor whereas on a Fuji system you can kind of predict where it will be like on the 16mm 1.4 which I have filming right now um, because there's the click going on I can just imagine like or just count where I'll be it's just an automatic thing in the head but yeah let me just put the box aside I'll organize that um, this is the 10 to 24 because um, I usually use my Fuji for like street photography and just travel photography in general. Nothing, well, a lot of professional stuff as well, but not as my main system as like Canon. So yeah, as I mentioned, if it was weather sealed, I would probably have invested in the Fuji version, but it's not. So to me, with a slightly lower quality of this lens, it's okay. So yeah, that's it on this camera. 
it's much smaller than I thought actually. On a lot of videos I thought it would be a lot bigger, but yeah, then the weight of it is actually pr pretty good, like pretty light. If I focus, it actually focuses really, really, really quickly and much more silently than a lot of my Fuji lenses, to be honest. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you need a free photography guidebook, it's linked down in the description below. It's absolutely for free. Otherwise, stay safe. Thank you very much for watching and have fun shooting. Bye.